As you guys have probably seen on the channel, I do have a new studio setup. I know a lot of folks have asked me to do a studio tour. I'm getting a few things kind of dialed in before I dive into it, but there's a lot of little unique features in this studio that I can't wait to show you guys. As I was looking for different ways to set up my studio, I came across a video from Michael Soledad. I was watching this video, can an iPad Pro replace your desktop? Spoiler alert. For me personally, I did like a year and a half on only an iPad Pro. It was totally fine. Now Michael's got a pretty huge Instagram following, but he's fairly new to YouTube. I'll link his channel up here, probably in a card somewhere. But as I was watching his video, I saw the desk setup he had where he had a stand for his iPad Pro. And I've always seen people put iPad Pros on stands and thought like, oh, that's kind of cool. You make it look a little bit more like a Mac, but I actually am a big fan of the smart keyboard folio that you can get that kind of natively works with the iPad Pro. I like the way it feels. I love the fact that it's always attached to my iPad, so I'm never without it. It's a really good keyboard. Sure, there's better keyboards out there, but overall, it's a pretty fantastic product. So for me, I never really thought that the actual setup of using an iPad on a stand with a separate keyboard would be all that useful. However, when I saw Michael's video, it kind of made me think about how could I integrate and use my iPad while I use my Mac on a monitor behind it. So I jumped on Amazon and bought an iPad stand from a company called Omoton. Now honestly, an iPad stand is a pretty dead basic product. It's a bent aluminum arm, looks kind of like an iMac stand, uh, but there are some differences between all these different products. I personally picked the Omoton stand because I thought the color of the metal more closely matched the space gray of my iPad. But overall, the pros on this particular product, I would say that the build quality is really nice. I do like the way that the arm moves on the iPad stand, so it feels pretty sturdy, like it's not gonna drop or fall or, or move too quickly. It feels pretty solid. And overall, the price of this product was better than some of the other ones that I found online. At the time of filming this video, this iPad stand is currently listed on Amazon for $16.99. That is stupid cheap for an iPad stand. Really good price. If you're looking for current pricing on this product, I do have the link in the description down below. Every time you do that, it's a really great way to help support the channel. There's one thing about this product in particular that I found to be a little bit weird. On the bottom of the foot, instead of having like a rubberized textured pad to keep it from slipping, it actually has a sticky pad. So you, you kind of peel off the sticker and it sticks pretty firmly onto the surface of wherever you're gonna set this stand. I think the reason why they did this is it's still an iPad. Even though it's on a stand, you do still have to reach up and touch and tap on the actual screen. I believe having it attached with a sticky pad is probably gonna help for when you tap on the screen to keep it from falling over. It's just more secure that way. I would also say if you're looking to adhere this to a tabletop, just make sure that it's not like a really cheap Ikea table because I don't think it would, but it's possible that if you try to move the stand, that adhesive could maybe rip up the laminate top. I don't know, haven't had that particular problem, just wanna give you fair heads up. So overall, if you're looking for an iPad stand similar to this because you want to use an external keyboard with your iPad, or if you're just looking for something to supplement your Mac usage by putting your iOS device right in front of you, I highly recommend that you pick up this stand from Albaton. Thanks for watching.